So a checkoff list so far. And I do this with all of my students, as I mentioned, with a list. Doesn't matter where they are in their studies. First things first, you get the grip down. Second thing, you match the grip to the opposite hand. Checking the thumbnails and checking your butts. Then you create a V or an arrowhead. That arrowhead now is not the same. It's split about a quarter's width apart. Then we have our dotted line running from the palm of our hand to the opposite foot or from the thumbnail to somewhere up in this region here. Before we dive into stick control exercises and tone production, let's first talk about the height. So the height of the drum over many years has been explained as adjust it to your belly button or how about where your pants lay? How about your belt buckle? Well, I've found going to different schools that every student is very different. You have some six foot four students. You have some five foot two students. You have students that have long torsos. You have ones that have long legs. So really, we need to find a way that eliminates all those variables. And for me, most of the time, this is what works. I take my hand and I place it on the bell kit, the drum pad, the snare drum, whatever it is that you're using. And if your shoulder drops like this, or you feel like you're reaching down like this, like mm, it's probably too low. If you're way up here and you're like squinching up like this, it's probably too high. If you can come to it, you can touch it like this. The shoulders seem pretty even, nothing too crazy is going on like this. The drum's probably pretty close. Then all you do, match your sticks, set the V, and start playing. 